Hi, this is a, called a plankton tow net and we'll use it to sample zooplankton or phytoplankton at depth. Um, the mesh size of this mesh here is going to vary depending on what you're trying to sample. So it'll be a, a little bit larger for zooplankton and smaller for phytoplankton. It's got a bottle at the end, so everything that gets pulled down through the net will get trapped in the bottle. Um, the weight here will make sure it stays fairly straight as we lower it, and then it's got a clip on the very end so we can make sure nothing falls through the bottom. And we're just going to lower this all the way down to the bottom of the lake, and then pull it slowly and steadily back up, and we'll get a sample of all the, the plankton that are swimming in the lake. All right, looks like we just hit bottom, so now I'm going to slowly and steadily pull this thing up. And when you get to the top, you can lower it back down and lift it a couple times to make sure you rinse any organisms that aren't be stuck on the side of that mesh. Then we'll pull it up. And I've got a uh, container here ready that's labeled. And we're just going to evacuate the contents of that bottle into the container. Now we're pulling the horizontal tow net in after we went in the boat a little bit. Pull it slowly up, rinse it a few times. Since we've got a little bit too much water in there for the bottom at the for the bottle at the bottom, we can shake it, the net a little bit. That'll let the water drain out from the sides there a little bit, and we can actually concentrate the sample down into that bottle. Um, and this will allow us to do a quantitative sample. our zooplankton tow net again um, and now we're going to do what's called a horizontal tow which is also not a quantitative measurement but we'll be able to sample just the plankton that are residing on top of the lake and we're just going to pull it behind the boat as we head back to the boat ramp. So I'm going to toss it in. Make sure it's full of water. Hang on. 